Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Bird Song. I'm calling it Trash Day. This is the biggest trash journal I've ever made. I think this is gonna end up getting donated to go on display at a creative reuse store uh, to show people, you know, the fun and creativity you can have with trash. This thing is so massive. Uh, one of the things I did kind of fun. You know, this was very rounded. It basically started out as one long piece of fabric and signatures. You can see the lines where I've sewn in signatures all the way down here and they got smaller and smaller and I wanted it to be able to open up and lay flat with all of this fun trash inside. But I started thinking it would also be cool now that I'm this far along in the game to have it be able to just stand up where it has a spine. So I glued some strips of fabric across here. I ended up safety pinning these into place too because they kept getting all tangled up and just while I was working on it, it was kind of getting on my nerves. So after I was finished with this, I put some safety pins in here, but these little strips of fabric are open on either end and they're glued, you know, across this way. So I just put some popsicle sticks in to give it a, a spine. They can be pulled out so it can be done, you know, either way, kind of a rounded book or the actual spine. What I'm going to do is go ahead and just finish this thing off because like I said, I am going to be donating this. A lot of fun stuff in here. Labels everywhere. I'm just flipping through to see what is here. I can definitely smell the coffee from the coffee bags in here. We have, you know, fun tags everywhere. A little quotation. You can see it just goes basically on and on. Okay, let's see what we have. We've got this box that had tea in it. I think I'm just gonna cut out the pretty teacup. I am I'm just really at a point here where I'm ready to be done with this. And I'm not opposed to using staples at all. I like staples. Uh, have you tried Simple Suppers? Actually, Jason discovered these and brought some cans home and we tried them and they're so easy. They're, they're really good. We like them. Is it something we eat all the time? No, but we have so enjoyed these to add to what we have available in a pinch. You know, if Jason has a gig and I've worked or something and we just need something fast. We have really enjoyed these. Ooh, this is a container that had some Celtic sea salt or Celtic. I've heard Celtic and Celtic. I'm just gonna staple this on here so that it lifts up this way. And then that's, that's kind of cool to have that blue backing behind that picture of the ladies. Okay, I used a can of corn and some vegetable beef or be vegetable turkey soup I made yesterday. Let's find a place maybe to glue this. Let's go way back over here. Let's go right around the edge. We don't need a whole lot of glue. Alrighty. Now this was fun. This is from Paper Source. It's old. Um, I don't think they really put these out anymore, but it's got all of these personalities or traits based on favorite colors. And this was a lot of fun to look at with friends the other night. It would be fun to cut all of these squares out and glue them throughout the book. I think I'm gonna do that. Maybe we will just call this a, a tr trashy, <laughs> A personality, a trashy personality book. It sounds funny, doesn't it? What is this? Okay, there's a box that had butter in it. Maybe we can find a place to 
Okay, let's staple this right onto here. So that takes care of that. Yes. There are always more coffee bags. I honestly don't know that I want to add another coffee bag. We have this. I do like putting images inside of things like this. So, let me cut this down a tiny bit. And let's just take a random picture from a magazine that I'm pulling pages from for gluing. And Jay, this magazine came from you. Thank you so much. I think we need to cut it down a tiny bit more. And I like to just sew those into place. It gives a lot of texture too. But then we need to find a place to put it. A lot going on on this page. Oh, maybe it could go here. Hmm. Oh, it sticks out. Okay. Then let's do this. I knew something didn't feel right. I forgot I had set that up as a really short page, but that's okay. This is, this is what it's all about, is working with trash and not being afraid to try things. Okay, that's good. What else do we have? Cornstarch label. Put that right there. I did want to put the banana bag in. That's always fun. I wonder if we could actually... I'm not even looking. I'm just going to do it. Must be brave. Be brave. But then, now let's look. Okay, so we do have these... Uh, staples here that I wouldn't want anybody to get their finger caught on. So we might do something creative by gluing a piece of fabric over that. I think that would be fun. So here is a recipe for banana bread. Let's staple this up here. So we don't lose any of those. Look, we've got some space under here. I bought a bag of bananas for 49 cents. Uh, they put produce on sale when it's, you know, not perfect. And it, all it was is that there were a few brown spots, which is normal. As bananas um, age, they do that. And I've heard before that the more brown spots they have, the healthier they are. I like to peel them and freeze them and put them, you know, save them for my my smoothies. So I can just take one out of the freezer, unwrap it, and put it in my smoothie. And let's start cutting out these colors. So I'm just going to cut the strips like this. We're not going to worry if this is perfect or not. These scissors have had to be really tough to stand up to living out here in Paper Town. Now that this is done, let's look through the whole thing. It is so tactile. It is so bright and colorful. We've got the pieces of fabric that cover up the staples on the outside, still drying a little bit, but I love the brightness. I just love this hodgepodge of things. We have our coffee bag on the front, a buckle from an apron where we used the strap to make a tie, the hair clip. I love how crinkly this is. And then just going through, you can see all of the different labels. There are little hidden spots with more labels, bits of trim, things from museums, 
lots of labels to think about. And we took the colors from the big sheet from Paper Source, and they are all throughout the book. So that anyone looking at this will be able to see these as they're going through. All sorts of tags, tuck spots, there's even a, an empty lotion tube. There's a color. There's a color. We glued in the little labels from tea bags. There's another hair clip. Another color, all sorts of fun tags. Napkins, there's another color. I just love things like this. There's another color little spot in here. Another color here. And then here for a couple. And here's one. And that's from the banana bag. Another color there. And then there. Another little tea bag label. A color here. Another color there. fun. A bottle cap put on with a brad and then covered on the other side. All sorts of labels. Another color. Another color. Another color. Pages are getting more and more narrow. And there we are at the very last take this off. That had been holding some ribbon in place. And that's it. This thing is so huge.
Okay, this one's done. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.